this is Carrie Black from the Space Weather Center located at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Welcome to the weekly space weather report for March 28th through April 3rd, 2012. The sun as a whole was pretty quiet this week. The active region previously referred to as 1429, which was responsible for almost all space weather last month, rotated onto the Earth-facing solar disk. It has been renamed Active Region 1451. You can see in these magnetograms from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, that it is now much weaker than in early March, indicating it is in the decay phase. There were no strong flares and no fast Earth-directed coronal mass ejections, called CMEs for short. Most of this week's CMEs were slow-moving and dissipated quickly as seen in this movie. Only one was even in the moderate velocity range at about 1,000 kilometers per second. Here we can see a filament eruption from March 29th, as imaged by SDO. This CME does not originate from a localized active region, but rather from an elongated structure called a filament. This particular CME was slow and not Earth-directed. None of the CMEs from this week resulted in strong space weather effects at Earth or any NASA spacecraft. This was evidenced by the KP index, which measures disturbances to Earth's magnetic field on a scale from 0 to 9. It was at level 4 or below for the reporting week. Since active region 1451 is weaker, and no other strong active regions are currently visible, the space weather conditions over the next week are likely to remain calm. All of the data in this video is accessible from our integrated space weather analysis system, located at iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov. Thank you for watching.